So, alright, welcome back to Genome Tutorial. And for today's video, we will going to talk about the general mathematics. Or to be specific, we will going to talk about the the Gram method. So, the Gram method is a method we use to identify or to simplify the rational equation. When we say rational equation, it is an equation indicating that two expressions with at least one term written as a fraction. So, commonly in this equation, there is a rational function is equal to something. And... Also, we need to identify the, or we need to identify the value of a certain uh, variable, like for example, the variable x. We need to identify the value of the x in that specific uh, rational equation. Okay, but before we proceed, please don't forget to click the like, hit the subscribe button, and also hit the notification bell for you to be notified in our latest and future uploads. Okay, let's go back in the Cram method. Cram method can be expressed as C R A M, where C means clear, clear. All the fraction by multiplying both sides of the equation by the LCD of the term. So we need to identify the least common denominator first and multiply it uh, in the both sides of the equation. Okay, letter R. Remove all the grouping symbols if there is any. Letter A. Add, add or subtract similar terms. M. Multiply or divide both sides of the numerical coefficient of the variables leaving only one variable leaving only the variable on the left side of the equation with the coefficient equal to 1. Then, check on the result. By furthermore, let's try some problem. Let's say, let's try this problem. So, that is equal to x plus 5 all over by 2x is equal to 3 fourth. x plus 5 all over by 2x is equal to 3 fourth. So again, for the letter C. So again, to simplify this equation, we will using the Gram method. Okay, for the letter C, clear all the fraction by multiplying both sides of the equation by the LCD of the term. So as you can see, if I multiply both sides by 4x, the denominator will become Okay, it will become 2x plus 5 all over by 1 is equal to 3x over 1. So, the least common denominator is equal to 1. So, that is for DC. So, which is equal to 2x plus 5 is equal to 3x. So, next is letter R. Remove all the grouping symbols if there is any. So, we need to remove this parenthesis. To remove that parenthesis, we need to distribute the 2 in this group. So, R is equal to case 2 multiplied by x is 2x plus 2 multiplied by 5 is 10 is equal to 3x. Okay, for the letter A, add or subtract similar terms. So, the similar terms here is 2x and 3x. So, we need to transpose the 2x in the other side. So, that is equal to 10 is equal to 3x. Okay, when we transpose this, the sign will become the opposite of uh, the original. So, it is a positive sign. When we transpose it to the other side, that will become negative 2x. Okay. Like I said, in letter A, we need to add or subtract the like terms. So, 3x minus 2x is equal to x. So, in letter M, multiply or divide both sides but the numerical coefficient of the variable so since the value of x is already identified we need to check na lang the result by substituting the value of x in this term and the answer must be equal to 3 fourth. so that is equal to x plus 5 all over by 2x times 0 which is equal to x is equal to 10 plus 5 all over by 2 multiplied by x which is 10 so 10 plus 5 is 15 all over by 10 multiplied by 2 is 20. Okay, simplify. Okay, that is equal to 3 multiplied by 5 all over by um, 4 multiplied by 5. So, cancellation of 5. So, the answer is equal to 3 fourth. So, it means that the value of x we gathered or we uh, identified is correct. Okay, now let's try this rational equation. So, this is equal to x plus 2 all over by x plus 4 is equal to x minus 2 
all over by x plus 2. Again, for the letter C, clear all fraction by multiplying it by its LCD. So, as you can see, the LCD here is equal to x plus 4 multiply by x plus 2. Okay, let's add this LCD in the both, both terms of this equation. So, that is equal to x plus 4 multiply by x plus 2. Okay, multiply by x plus 2 all over by x plus 4 is equal to x minus 2 all over by x plus 2 multiply by the LCD x plus 4 multiply by x plus 2 as you can see the x plus 4 all over by x plus 4 will express as 1 the x plus 2 all over by x plus 2 will express as 1 also so the least common denominator or the common denominator is equal to 1 so let me rewrite the equation so as you can see x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 2 will give us x plus 2 raised to 2 is equal to x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 4 okay the next step is to use the r remove all the grouping so for us to remove the grouping in this equation we need to use the foil method so certainly this is equal to x equal to x to the second power plus 2 multiplied by x multiplied by 2 that is equal to 4x plus 2 to the second power is equal to 4 okay we already removed the grouping in this term so in this term naman we will using the foil method x multiplied by x is x to the second power 2x negative 2x multiplied <coughs> negative 2x plus 4x that is equal to positive 2x negative 2x multiplied by 4 so that is equal to negative 8 next is the letter a add or subtract the like terms so as you can see x squared x squared are like term 4x and 2x are like terms 4 and negative 8 are like terms so we can rewrite it as x squared i will transpose this uh, x squared to the other side so that it will become x to the second power plus 4x i will transpose this again to the other side so that is positive so this will become 2x is equal to negative 8 and I will transpose this positive 4 to the other side. So this will become negative 4. x to the second power minus x to the second power will become 0. 4x minus 2x is equal to 2x is equal to negative 8. Minus 4 is equal to negative 12. The last step is to use the m step. Where the m means multiply or divide leaving 1 only variable or which the coefficient is equal to 1 so as you can see we can divide this equation by 2 leaving the x only alone so negative 12 over 2 is equal to negative 6 so the value of x is equal to negative 6 okay to recheck this one we let us simplify the value of x or negative 6 in this term the answer must be this one so x plus 2 all over by x plus 4 0 so that is equal to negative 6 plus 2 all over by negative 6 plus 4 which is equal to negative 6 plus 2 is equal to negative 4 negative 6 plus 4 is equal to negative 2 which is equal to positive 2 okay let's say naman dito x minus 2 all over by x plus 2 that is equal to negative 6 and lower limit is equal to 0 which is equal to x x negative 6 minus 2 all over by negative 6 plus 2 so that is equal to negative 6 minus 2 is equal to negative 8 all over by negative 6 plus 2 is equal to negative 4 so negative 8 over negative 4 is equal to 2 so they got the same answer it means that the value of x we gathered or we identified is correct so that's it for today and see you in our next video tutorials goodbye